most of us fail to make the positive changes and habits in our life that we want to because the burden is too high. It either takes too much time, too much motivation, too much energy, and we just don't have that to spare because we're all busy, we're all stressed, we just don't have the time. So the solution is to think smaller, even smaller than you're probably imagining. We're gonna go tiny. Micro, micro habits, okay? I will explain what they are. I will give you so many different examples. And at the end, I'm going to explain how you take those tiny habits and grow them into big life-changing habits. So the way tiny habit works is you want to connect it or anchor it to a everyday habit that you're already doing. So in this example, we will take brushing your teeth. This is something most of us do every day so that after you brush your teeth, you implement your new tiny habit. Let's say in this case is flossing, but we want to keep it really small. So the habit is to just floss one tooth. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but you want to keep your goals very small. One second later, we're done. And then you finish the loop with some kind of a small celebration, whether that just be smiling to yourself, saying good job in your mind, or even using a habit tracker app. I'll show you mine to just mark it off for your little small win. Now at that point, if you are feeling up to it, and only if you're feeling up to it, you can go on and floss the rest of your teeth. And that should be considered extra credit or bonus points and is not at all expected of you. And that, my friends, is how you start a tiny habit. Tiny habit number two. Let's say you wanna start making your bed every morning. So making the bed, that's too big of a commitment. That's too big of a habit. So the tiny habit here could just be to take your main blanket and smooth it over. Just that, you don't have to do your pillows, the rest of your bed, just keep it very tiny. The one that he recommends that everyone do is that when you get out of bed in the morning, plant your feet on the ground and say, it's going to be an amazing day or some version of that. For me, it kind of felt weird saying that out loud. So I kind of just say it in my head now. It's a wonderful day, yeah! Look at this, there's a room, there's a bed, there's a window! There's sunlight coming through the window. I hit the lottery. I hit the lottery. Next one for fitness, do two squats as you're making your coffee. Just a little. Next one is after you eat your breakfast, take your vitamins. I think that is something a lot of us forget. What you can do just to add to that is add a visual cue. So take your supplement bottle and put it where you normally eat breakfast. So for me, I actually have been eating breakfast a lot at my desk. So I put it on my desk. So as I'm eating breakfast, I see the vitamins and it's a visual cue to remind me to take them. And in case you're wondering what vitamins I take, I take the Ritual and I have been since I was pregnant with Capri. So it's been a while now and they are very kindly sponsoring today's video. And I actually have a crazy story that happened on Halloween having to do with this. So I was at a Halloween party. I randomly meet this girl and she tells me that she works at the FDA testing different supplements. So I found that fascinating. We get into this whole conversation. She's telling me all these crazy stories about you know, how they do it and the things that they're finding in some of these supplements. And so by the end, I was like, okay, well, you have to tell me what brands do you trust and what do you take? And she said, Ritual. And I can't even say that I'm surprised because Ritual's entire brand is based around going above and beyond, doing the research, having that extra layer of transparency, and they stand behind it. And in fact, they actually recently just did a full clinical study showing the long-term effectiveness of taking their supplements, which I will link down below if you're also a research nerd like me. And the reason that I started taking Ritual is because when I was pregnant with Capri, I found out that the prenatal supplements I was taking, they were third-party tested and it was found that they had high levels of lead. So that got me to doing my own research and in that same third-party testing, Ritual came out on top, A plus rating. So they really do back up that transparency. And on their website, you can look at all of the ingredients in the supplement, you can see where they come from, you can see the research studies behind it, you can see the manufacturer, it's just next 
level. And that's something that I appreciate because you're putting this in your body. You want to know what it is that it's effective. They have a variety of different formulas depending on where you are in life. So they have the prenatal, which I took the postnatal. And now I just take the everyday essential for women 18 and up. These are designed to fill the gaps in your diet. Even if you eat a healthy diet, sometimes you are missing some of those key nutrients. And for me, this is something that I will always invest in and is so well worth it. And they have given me a discount code to get 10% off your first three months. And actually in my DMs on Instagram, my ritual code is one of the things that I'm asked about the most. So I will have that here on the screen and linked down in the description box. This is one that I do as you're getting ready in the morning, turn on an audiobook. For me, I try to turn on one that has something to do with self-improvement. And that is how I ended up listening to this book, which I do highly recommend. And I will have it linked down below. When you walk in the kitchen, immediately pour yourself and drink a glass of water. When you walk in the door, put your shoes in the shoe cabinet. Let me say this one again for the people in the back. In the shoe cabinet. No, 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 not next to it. Oh, no, no, so close. So close yet so far. Just a little bit. Okay, open the door and in. In the shoe cabinet. At night when you're winding down and you turn off the lights, turn on your reading light and read one page of a book. This is one that I am personally adopting because I'm trying to minimize my screen time and just read more. All I have to do is read one page. Anything more than that is just a bonus. Next up, when you sit down at your desk, put your phone on silent or even better, if you can get away with it, turn your phone off. After starting your dishwasher, take one thing from the countertop and put it away while you're cooking. Maybe the goal here is to clean as you cook, but we're going to start small. So all you need to do as you're cooking, make it a point to clean one dish, one pot, one pan, just one thing as you're cooking. After you eat your lunch, walk outside and stand out in the sun for 30 seconds. Get that natural sunlight, get outside, get some fresh air. This is like a mental one. When you have a problem pop up in your mind or a worry, tell yourself, stop. I'll deal with this tomorrow. Just try to stop it right in its track. This is one that I'm working on. When you take a phone call, make a point to walk as you're talking on the phone. So walk and talk. That way you're getting some exercise. When you get into bed at night, take three deep breaths. When you get in the shower, think about three things that you are grateful for. After you answer your emails, write down on your notepad your top three priorities for the day. When you're getting ready to leave and you realize you have X amount of time, 15 minutes, Set a timer on your phone so you don't forget. When you walk in the door, put your keys on the key ring. I could keep going on and on with so many of these tiny micro habits. You're seeing now what I mean when I say tiny habits. I mean so tiny that there's no excuse not to do them because they literally take seconds. So how you wanna think of this is each of these tiny habits that you've planted is a seed. And each time you do them, you're watering the seed. So over time, the seed starts to grow. But remember, you just have the smallest baseline expectation. Anytime you feel up for it, do more. But only if you feel up for it, there is no pressure. Now, after a certain amount of time, you will likely naturally build up to doing more. So maybe instead of doing two squats, you are already doing 50 squats. Once you're comfortably doing that, you can set that as your new baseline or update what your new habit is. Basically, you can graduate your tiny habits and then make them medium-sized habits, and then eventually they will grow into large, sustainable habits. But what success comes down to is momentum. You need to get the momentum, and that's going to happen by just starting so incredibly small that there's no excuse not to do it. No matter how busy, how stressed, how little time you have, you can commit to a few of these teeny tiny habits. And I would love to hear down in the comments, what are the tiny habits that you are going to commit to adapting to right now? You can use some that I shared in today's video, or you can come up with some of your own. And I'm going to pick three of you to send a $100 Amazon gift card to, and I'm going to be announcing the winners over on my Instagram stories at Vassar Beauty. So make sure you are following me there. And my code and link to get 10% off your first three months of taking ritual is going to be down in the description box. If you are looking to upgrade your vitamin situation, I could not recommend them more. So with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.